Our elected official of the year has played a lot of roles in democratic politics. He began as an active PCO. He's volunteered countless hours on countless campaigns. He's chaired his local party organization and been involved in the county and state Democratic Central Committees. He's knocked on doors as a candidate for the legislature and served in both the House and Senate. He also helped lead the way to protect Puget Sound and expand light rail while serving on the King County Council. For these reasons and many others, this year's Democratic Elected Official of the Year could easily have won any of our awards over the course of his three decades in Democratic politics, even though he remains a stubborn 39 years old. In an era when many elected officials try to hide their party label, a weird belief that standing for nothing is somehow more appealing to weary independent voters than fighting for shared values of family and community, this leader proudly embraced our democratic ideals and priorities in his race for King County Executive and won in an era when too many politicians seek to dominate the headlines with symbolic crusades, our elected official of this year is simply governing. In his first year in office, he forged a partnership to obtain a $44 million federal allocation for Howard Hansen Dam repairs and dramatically reduced the threat of Green River Valley flooding. He assembled a coalition of governments to fund the construction of a new South Park Bridge and he joined with the state to finance the county's purchase of a Maury Island gravel mine slated for major expansion, thus preserving a mile of natural Puget Sound shoreline. Of course, by now you know who I'm talking about, an outspoken advocate for the families, businesses, communities, and quality of life in our region, a proven champion to transit and transportation choices, an accomplished reformer who worked in partnership with unions to cut costs, improve health, and protect jobs and services. A man who has spent his entire life in West Seattle, but isn't afraid to leave his town once in a while, especially for Husky football games. In fact, for every Husky football game, except the one that happens right now at Stanford. Please join me in applauding our Democratic elected official of the year, an outstanding leader for our party and our region, King County Executive Dow Constantine. Hi, Dow.